What's up YouTube? Scott Scotty Tradition back with another video. Um, thought I'd do something a little bit different today. I'm going to show off uh, some of the Badgers PC, uh, specifically at Wisconsin Badgers football. Um, I've been a fan of the you know Wisconsin football my whole life, obviously growing up in the state. Um, they usually field a very competitive team. They have a pretty rich history. And um, so I'm just going to go with some of the PC items I have here. Um, some of them are crossovers uh, from the Packers collection. And um, some of them are just, you know, cards here and there I picked up. Um, so let's go through it. So this is actually part of the Packers Team Hall of Fame set. This is Arnie Herber. He's an NFL Hall of Famer. Um, the card used for the set's the 75 Fleer Hall of Fame card. These are actually tough cards to find in, in good grade just because of the uh, brown borders. So this just happens to be a crossover card that I have as part of the Packers Team Hall of Fame set, but he's also played for Wisconsin. Um, how about we? How about this guy? A Heisman Trophy winner. One of two Heisman Trophy winners. I'll show the other one here in a little bit. But Ron Dane, the Great Dane. Man, he was good in college. Um, still is the NCAA all-time rushing leader. Has like 7,100 plus yards. Um, four years. That's going to be a tough record to break. Uh, this is from uh, uh, Contenders Draft Picks. Kind of a really cool looking card, the Cracked Ice version. Man, Ron Dane was so fun to watch in the late 90s. He just was in a league of his own. Just He was quick for his size, would just smash people. Um, the, 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 I just remember the quote from uh, Keith Jackson, who was the you know, the old college football announcer. And uh, there's this uh, clip with him running over uh, UCLA in the Rose Bowl. And uh, the, the line from Keith Jackson was, You do not want him in your secondary. And that's true. You don't want uh, corners and safeties trying to tackle Ron Dane. It often didn't turn out well. But, man, I have some great memories of Ron Dane. I remember the game he broke the all-time uh, rushing record. Uh, it was against Iowa. I still remember that. I was only a wee teenager at that point, but... Uh, fond memories of Ron Dane for sure. Um, here's a guy, Chris Borland. Uh, this is from this is when I first got back into collecting back in 2013 or 14. It's from Upper Deck uh, Star Rookies, and you can see it's signed. This is the short print one numbered out of 10, and graded a 10 as well. Borland was a really awesome player for Wisconsin. He was three-time, first-time All Big Ten. He won NFL, or sorry, he won a Big Ten Defensive Player of the Year in 2013, and also was a first team All American in 2013 as well. Um, only played like I think that one season or so with the 49ers before he decided to retire. He just didn't want to um, deal with possible implications from CTE. He had already had a couple concussions in college, and um, what was really one of the first players to say, you know, this just isn't for me. I'd rather, you know keep my head in good condition since I've, he's already had a few concussions he didn't want to risk playing in the NFL anymore but man this guy was awesome in college uh, he was he was just super slippery just a super great athlete Chris Borland great player um, let's see here who else we got how about this guy Melvin Gordon, this is from Leaf Trinity, 2015. Uh, he actually signed it twice on his jersey and on the card. This is actually a cool product. I thought it was pretty well done. This one's numbered out of 10. He, he was an absolute stud in college, Melvin Gordon. I think he stayed three years. Or was it only two years? He didn't stay that long. He's still number 32, I believe, on the all-time rushing, collegiate rushing uh, record. So, Just a... Uh, just a beautiful card. And I also have his uh, rookie card from 2015 Tops Chrome. Of course, drafted by the Chargers. He's a two-time Pro Bowler. Uh, here's another crossover card. Ken Bowman from the Packers, Team Hall of Fame. Played uh, uh, center for the Packers. And you can see he went to school at Wisconsin as well.
how about this guy? What can you say about Joe Thomas? Um, he will be a first ballot Hall of Famer. He only he played 10 years in the league. He never really missed a game until the end. And um, nine-time Pro Bowler and nine-time All-Pro. <laughs> That's when you know you've had a good career. And he only played 10 years in the league. One of the most technically sound offensive linemen ever. Um, he can never be remembered on draft night. Uh, I think he went. He either went number one or two overall. I think, but he wasn't at. Uh, he wasn't even at draft night. He was out uh, salmon fishing on Lake Michigan with his dad. So I thought that was pretty cool. He was an absolute stud, even though he was on the Browns for ten years. <laughs> Great player. How about this guy? Here's the second uh, Heisman Trophy winner the Badgers have had, Alan Amici. Uh, Baltimore Colts drafted him. From that, this is his rookie from 1955, Bowman. So him and Ron Dane are the two uh, Heisman Trophy winners. Beautiful card. Love the 55 Bowman set. That's what the back looks like. And ironically, uh, Alan Amici also went to Kenosha Bradford, same college as uh, Melvin Gordon. Also the same college as, uh, I think, uh, Minnesota Vikings defensive back Trey Waynes. They all went to Kenosha Bradford. Uh, here's a guy that just retired. Travis Frederick was the center for the Cowboys. Had a really great career. And I think they drafted another one, uh, Tyler Biotish, who I think is going to be a great player in the league. But uh, Frederick had uh, that, uh, that weird, uh, I guess it's like an autoimmune disease. Um, and I don't know if that it kind of helped force him to retire as well, but he's a five-time Pro Bowler at six years in the league, so absolute stud. Wisconsin's basically an offensive line factory. You know, some of these guys like Joe Thomas, Travis Frederick, there are so many to list. Here's another one, although be it from the back in the 70s and 80s. Uh, this guy's part of the 70s and 80s All-Decade team. Rest in peace. Mike Webster passed away. Um... Complications with CTE, uh, no doubt had a cause in that, and played for the Steelers. Multiple time Pro Bowler and All Pro as well. It's from Rhinelander, Wisconsin, and played for the Badgers. Um, now, how about this guy? Elroy Crazy Legs Hirsch. He played one year for the Badgers back in 1942. Um, I think they were 8-1 and one that year. He set all kinds of uh, high marks and was a great player. Um, this guy's actually from my hometown uh, in central Wisconsin. Uh, and he, uh, after that first year at Wisconsin, he then transferred to Michigan uh, to be a part of their uh, Navy program uh, for World War II. So he ended up going to Michigan for that reason so uh, unfortunately only one year at Wisconsin but he uh, joined the Marines and uh, did Navy training at Michigan so you can't fault him for that beautiful card love the 50 Bowman set um, how about this guy this is a uh, 2011 SP Authentic which is an awesome product uh, the gold future watch autograph numbered out of 35 BGS 9.5 JJ Watt uh, what can you say about him he had a great couple years at Wisconsin and um, he had he walked on to Wisconsin he was at like central Michigan as a tight end and then he uh, put on a bunch of weight worked out and um, ended up just being an absolute monster obviously um, he's been a three time NFL defensive player of the year which is super impressive, to say the least. And, man, he's just fun to watch. Um, he's had some injuries lately, but what a great uh, great player he was in college and really a great player in the NFL as well. And I, I, I just remember on draft night, uh, Houston Texans fans booing the J.J. Watt pick, and then he would go on to be you know a three-time NFL Defensive Player of the Year. So it just goes to show you how stupid we can be as fans sometimes, you know, booing players when they haven't even played it down for you. Um, I, I found that comical when he was booed on draft night. So, um, absolute monster. 
Um, and then this card kind of goes with that. This is a dual auto of uh, from Immaculate of J.J. Watt and T.J. Watt, his brother. There's actually a third Watt, Derek Watt, who's in the league as well as a fullback, who's played for the Chargers uh, the last couple of years. And uh, T.J. is no slouch. Uh, plays for the linebacker for the Steelers, and um, he's uh, made uh, two Pro Bowls his first two years in the league. So can't argue with that. And, of course, my Packers could have had T.J. Watt, but nope, they decided to trade down, let the Steelers take T.J. Watt. Packers drafted Kevin King, who can barely stay in the field and and is often injured, and they gained a fourth-round pick in the process, so they drafted Vince Beagle, who is actually the guy in the background. Um, unfortunately for the Packers, though, Vince Beagle didn't really work out. He's kind of undersized for the position, and he's not even on the team anymore. But he had Vince Beagle was great in college as well. But yeah, TJ, I love this TJ JJ uh, dual auto card. A um, couple more cards here to go through. Um, here's another uh, JJ card. This is his Topps Chrome rookie card in a 10. Three time NFL Defensive Player of the Year. Back when Topps Chrome was doing cards, gotta love it. Um, how about this guy? For the Patriots, James White. He's had a really good NFL career as well. Another one of those star rookies, numbered out of 10. Just beautiful card. Love the, even a little bit of shine these upper deck star rookies had. And that card I actually really love, players in their college uniforms. A product that really does a great job, I think. Um, and this guy... Outstanding in college as a receiver, Jared Aberderis. This is from SP Authentic, graded a 9 out of 25. On card auto. This guy could run with the big boys. Um, he was a great college player. Didn't do that great in the NFL. Had some injuries as well. Kind of undersized a little bit. But in college, was an absolute stud. He could run. Great route runner. Um, he, you know, dominated the defensive backs at Ohio State, who were top-tier players at the time. He was tough to cover. And last but not least, how about this guy, Russell Wilson. Uh, this is the card that I helped. I won the bet from Mike, uh, baseball collector, technically. Um, at least he helped pay for the portion of this card um, when I purchased it. And I think I had, at, this was card was under $100 at the time, I, I want to say. Um, but it was just one of those cards I thought had a good shot of rising in value just just because I thought he was a little undervalued in the hobby, and he, he this card certainly has, as it's, you know, goes in that six hundred to uh, seven hundred dollar range now. So, super excited to have this one. Only one year at Wisconsin, but man, that was a great year. That team had a great shot to only a only one overtime game. I think there was like an overtime or last second pass against Michigan State that kind of screwed them over that year. Otherwise, they had the talent they had so much talent on that team um they could have competed for a national championship that year but just a couple things didn't go their way but glad to have the russell wilson anyways i'd love to get something of him in a wisconsin uniform um so hope you guys enjoyed the video this is kind of a part of my pc i don't talk about a whole lot um there's some cards that cross over from the packers collection but um just a few badgers cards i have here and there so thanks everybody for watching um Nice talking to you guys, and uh, we will talk to you again soon. Thanks.